Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Duty Roster mod, which is being made by user while 1411 And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an actual Duty Roster into the game, which will make it so your Kerbals actually have work hours as well as time off hours, where they will effectively be useless to whatever mission you're running. And it adds an extra interesting layer of complexity to the game where you have to actually work around the schedules of your Kerbals. And I kind of like this mod as it adds an odd little thing that you have to now deal with. And the reason we haven't jumped into the save like usual is because we have some settings to look at. If we go to start new game and down to difficulty options, we have the duty roster options here. And it's a pretty short list. The first is, of course, if you want the mod to be enabled or not, use the Blizzy's toolbar or not, and just use the default toolbar. We then also have the sorting of Kerbals by duty start time, and basically in the game you'll have a UI element of all of your Kerbals listed, and they will show up in there sorted by default with this option by their start time, and it will adjust as you change their start times in the game. Now the next is how many Kerbals per page will actually be in that duty roster. I mean, you only have so much screen space to deal with that list of Kerbals, so you can have it as a maximum of 20 or a minimum of 5. The default is 10. Now next are the update intervals. Now this will affect your game performance. Basically, by default, on this one, every in-game second, and that is game time, not real time, that is game time, every in-game second, it will update the duty shifts. Now, if you have a slower computer, you're gonna wanna update less often, and you can update to 60 seconds, or down to zero, which is basically constantly, I would suggest one at the very least there. And the second option here is for real world time. So this one's game time, this one's real world time, and again, if you're having some performance issues, you can increase that up to 60 or down to zero default is one. Now the next options are how often your Kerbals will actually work. Now by default, a Kerbal with zero stars of experience, if you're in the career mode, will only be able to work for three hours at a time. Now this is based off of the uh, Kerbal six hour day clock that they have in the game. And so they will be able to work for pretty much half the day, be off for half the day. But you can also add additional minutes to that, so a zero-star Kerbal will work for 3 hours and 20 minutes. Now, we can add additional time per level of experience. So for every additional star of experience, you can add 20 minutes by default, or lower that to zero or up to 60. Now, the final option is the duty change in minutes, and this, this one's an interesting one. Just like you in the real world, if you're, say, changing time zones, you're gonna get some jet lag, and so will your Kerbals. So if all of a sudden you add, or change rather, their on-duty time by three hours, they're not gonna just suddenly magically do that. Basically, you'll have this change time here where they'll do it in increments of, by default, 30 minutes. So they'll change their start time for their on-duty time by 30 minutes each period of rest until they've reached that new start time you have given them. So basically, if you change their start time by three hours, it'll take roughly six days, basically, for them to fully change to that new time. Now, that's by default. You can, of course, adjust this up to 60 or down to zero, where they'll have no jet lag whatsoever. But I like that, as again, it adds another layer of interesting complexity to the whole thing. And the final option we have is a debug mode, if you have any errors. So let's cancel out of there and go into oh nope I hit start new game again let's go into my duty roster save file where we have 11 Kerbals currently selected from the astronaut complex and so if we go into our new button down here in the corner for the duty roster we can see that we have 
two pages as I did stick with all of the defaults in the setting for this save. So we have 11, so if we go to the next page, we only have one Kerbal there. And as you can see, this Kerbal is currently on duty, and so are these five Kerbals here. So right now on our mission, we have six Kerbals on duty and five Kerbals currently on off-duty. Now, what off-duty means in game terms is they go from their profession of engineer, pilot, or scientist to a tourist, which in the game, tourists are useless and can't do anything. They are just taking up space in your ships. And if you have any life support mods, well, tourists still take up life support even though they're not doing anything. And so, I, again, I very much like that. You have to make sure that you have the right Kerbals with the right professions on duty at the right time. Because, say for instance, if you don't have a pilot on duty while you're trying to land your craft in the cockpit controlling the whole ship, well, things might not be going so well. You may not have those SAS controls that you so rely on. And that would be a bad thing. Hilarious, but bad. And that that's really where I love uh, the uh, fun sort of situations that this mod can put you in. You actually have to more thoroughly plan out your missions. Now, as for all the other things here, we uh, go through all the columns. We have the name of the Kerbals right here. We then have their current location. So we do have some still in the Kerbal Space Center and others on my duty roster space station that I put up into Orit. We then have their duty start time, which again, remember the Kerbal World, or Kerbal Day rather, is a six hour day. So basically, these Kerbals start at 3.39 on a Kerbal Day, and they'll end their duty at 2.39. So it's a, your basic start time, your end time, and anything in between is when they'll be off duty and no longer usable. Now the next column here is changing to. That is if you have decided to change their start time, how they are actually functioning with that. So currently all my Kerbals are on their actual schedules, but if we were to change their start time, you'd see that jet lag effectively right in here. Now, the next is the current on or off duty status, and it does, of course, show on duty what the profession is, which is always useful. And the final column here is the control of the start and end time. So you can either add one hour or at a time or go into uh, minutes here as well. So we can add either one hour at a time or remove an hour at a time or add... 10 minutes at a time, or remove 10 minutes at a time. So this is hours, this is minutes. So you can adjust that accordingly. And as you can see here, when I did do the increase by one hour, you see the change time here of what that will affect. And I very much like that. So it's a lot of good information here and the ability to change the various schedules. Now, of course, when I started the save, all of my Kerbals had the same duty start and same duty end. So I went around and adjusted everyone's time so that we had some people on and some people off. And in fact, while I've been talking, one of my Kerbals has actually gone on duty, and uh, only four are off duty now. We started with five, and I very much like that. So let's actually go into the tracking station, where we can select my duty roster space station, and if we do click on the uh, information tab for it, you can actually see that we do have Kerbals that are tourist, and these are the ones that are showing us currently off duty, whereas ones like Bill Kerman, it shows us profession as engineer because, well, he's currently on duty. So you can actually see roughly how it's going in here. We do, of course, also have the ability to bring up the duty roster in the tracking station again if you do need to change anything. But if we do go to fly this mission, we can, of course, see our space station in all, all of its glory, once more, we have the duty roster available to us so we can change not just the Kerbals on this mission, but every Kerbal in the game. And then we have our various uh, Kerbals here, which you can see 
Jebediah is currently a pilot, so he's on duty. Bill, engineer, on duty. But Bob, he is currently a tourist because he is off duty. So I do very much like that. And it's, again, it's just a, a fun little additional bit of things that you have to take into account when planning your missions. Now, there are some oddities with this mod. Once they hit their duty end time, that's it. They immediately become a tourist. So if you are, say, launching a rocket or landing on a planet somewhere, and you are seconds away from your successful landing, yeah, your Kerbal will just go on break. And if that's your pilot, oh boy, there goes your SAS abilities. That's um, kind of an odd limitation, so that does require planning right now. Now the mod maker is currently talking on the uh, page, on the forum page, about ways around that. They may add in something like an overtime button to force them to stay on duty for a bit, for some sort of a penalty perhaps. So hopefully that does come in in the future, but for right now it is just, you know, you got them while you got them, and then you don't once they hit their duty and time. They clock out and they're done, even if that means risking their lives. So yes, perhaps not the most um, interesting or fanciful or impressive mods ever, but I, I just really like this interesting functionality that it does add into the game and adds, you know, a fun new thing that you have to deal with. So yes, if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.